just trying to find a way to cover this microphone. There we go. That might work. So you don't get any wind, you know. So let's go this way. Let's see how this looks. Hey folks, got a couple guys there, turbine guy here. There we go. Oh boy. Not quite done yet. Getting ready. Doing a live stream. I figured I'd hang out for a couple hours here. First thing I got to do in this 9 or 10 below weather, 5 or 9 or 10, get myself a battery hooked up to this. I got one right in here. Where'd it go? Because I gotta think the batteries are gonna die off as fast. Oh, there you go. Get that up. Heck, is a zipper. There it is. You went in. Just gonna plug this guy in. Thank you, 472 Lift, for bringing this baby by. Turn it on. There we go. Over to here. Plug it in. Boom. this way Anyways, I gotta get this guy to go up a little so you can see me there you go hey folks turbine guy here let me turn this thing up to super bright so I, it's pretty close there you go let me zip it up because it's cold Not warm today. Ugh. This is why we call it the tundra. I'm on Spring Park Bay. Keeping company with C note. Thought she felt a little lonely being alone all overnight on New Year's, so I come hang out. Shouldn't have taken those off. Now these are cold. Whew. Made it. Now one thing you do, you dress for weather like this, which I have. Which I have. Uh, I brought an extra chair. Everyone wants to stop by? They'll be here for a little bit. Brought a couple extra beverages if someone wants some. I mean right now, I think it's four something. Sunset's around 4.43 or two. I bet we got an hour or so before four. Hang out, enjoy the weather. <sighs> Anyways, these jackets are made for snowmobiles, not for sitting back and relaxing. As we call it here, snow machine. No, we don't. That's up in Alaska on those silly shows. They're called sleds, okay? They're snowmobiles or sleds. We invented them, we make them. You'd think we'd know what to call them. Well, I do. Snowmobiles or sleds. So it's not even getting above zero today here in Minnesota. 
He said a high of three or four, and I don't think it's going to make it that. Like I said, that sign said five below. That's sub zero, so I thought I'd come and hang out. Tonight, it's supposed to be like 20 below. Now, if you look, let me show you. Let me show you, folks. If you look, people are starting to put their fish houses out. There's a bunch over there, and look at that. There's someone actually driving across in some machines. You can see those things kicking up the snow, and there's a track here. Probably four-wheelers. I've seen a bunch of snowmobiles out, a bunch of snowmobile tracks. You gotta assume the ice is mostly safe. There's always some danger spots in Lake Minnetonka, like the Fletcher's Channel. Um, over by where I live on West Arm, sometimes that doesn't freeze and makes ridges. Even right in here. <coughs> yeah, it looks like someone's coming this way. Even right behind me here at the ramp, there's a lip, and people hit that thing too hard and have issues. So, well, there we go. We got friends, come on down. I got an extra chair, everybody. Got an extra chair right here. I'm about ready to get my first adult beverage going. We got a comment here. Just saw your vid. Uh, nosy neighbors and their cameras yeah that's a good video you know I try not to be rude about it my neighbors put cameras up to aim at us so I just pointed it out did a couple things to uh to make sure that they couldn't really watch us very much that's what the videos are about let's see we got people coming Ugh. up there that means the ice is safe enough most likely around here for hanging out no idea where they're going Whew. I've had a long day a couple of long days so I think it's gonna be time to have me a bit of an adult beverage Why not? I earned it. Besides, that's what, what do you think the guys do when they go out here? Some of these fish houses this day, color TV, heat, all this happy stuff around. Refrigerator, which I don't even know why you'd need. And they tell the wife they're just going out fishing. Uh -uh. They're going out escaping. I saw some openers somewhere around here. I got a couple extra of these. Someone wants to stop by and have one. Got to be a legal age. Let me put that out there. Uh, stuck in my foot. There we go. It's not warm. I want to keep my hands in my gloves. Next time I'll have to go where it's a little more peaceful. Don't have the road going behind you the whole time. But you know, like I said, I wanted to come keep Fino company. Oh, you're probably wondering. See, I got this thing from my buddies, Lakeside and uh, Long Lake there. It's the place to go. They got a rewards program. They're cool guys. That's where we go for our uh, adult beverages. But what the heck's he got a cooler on that beer for? Well, we used 
We use can coolers in Minnesota. We just use them to keep the beer warm. So it doesn't freeze on us while we're out here. I mean, they work both ways. But that's what we got them for. Summer. Like Gabriel Jabor said, that's only 2.8 or 3 days long. Oh yeah. Most definitely not warm. And it is sub-zero. Said that sign said five below, my truck said nine. Tend to believe the truck. Now it says four below, warming up. It's only because the sun's on it. So I got a story for you. One time I went snowmobiling with my buddy Bubba from Florida. Now he'd been to Massachusetts and he told me how he was a motocross guy and he was really good at that. I said, well, it's end of the day, let's go try the snowmobile. And he's like, yeah, that'd be great. I'm like, you should catch right on. Similar thing. I tell you, from our house up to where the trail is, taking it through the ditch, I'm sitting there wishing I had my daughter with instead. Like, oh my goodness. So anyways, we get we get to where the trail is. It's kind of a steep little thing down into it. I was going a little fast. So I went over the trail and you know, instead of trying to turn, I went over the trail and I went and I did a turn around on the bank there. And he followed me. Don't know why he followed me. But there he is watching me go about one mile an hour and he flipped my snowmobile. I've never seen anyone going so slow to flip a snowmobile over where I had to run over there, push it over. He's just laying there looking at it. I'm like, I thought you was BMX. No, I, I don't know. Motocross, I don't know. So that same guy, when we were getting ready to go, he came out with two, three waters, and he put them in the back of the snowmobile. And I looked at him, I go, what are you doing? Well, you know, we got to have something to drink, you know, when we get going and get somewhere. I just looked at him and I shook my head. I said, you don't need those. He said, oh, no, 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 I'm going to bring one. I said, okay. So we were out going for a bit, and it wasn't quite this cold, but it was cold. <laughs> he opens it up, and he pulls out a water, and it's frozen salt. Looked at the other two, and so are they. I looked at him, and I'm like, duh. Where do you think you are, Florida? I don't think so. Anyways, when we finally got somewhere and I stopped, I, I think we got up to the Oxio. That's why you gotta stop at the bars. So you can't bring your beverages with you. They get shaken up and they freeze. We gotta stop. So anyways, we stopped at the Oxio for some wings. And a beer, and I'm talking to him. I go, What is the deal? He's like, Oh, I said, Man, ride the thing, just ride it, you know, quit fighting it. He got better after that. That was constant. One mile an hour flips my son. Oh, jeez. Hope you all don't mind. I'm gonna check the score of a game. It is college football day today. At Oklahoma State 31 to 28 over Notre Dame. Arkansas beat Penn State pretty good. Kentucky is back in front of Iowa 20 to 17 with minute 48 left. Let's see who's got the ball. Ah, 
Kentucky just got the touchdown, so they're going to be kicking on. Let's see what's going on with Oklahoma State and Notre Dame. Oklahoma State's got the ball on the 39. They're up 31 to 28. No, they don't. They got the ball on Notre Dame's 19. Maybe that's them getting the touchdown. This ESPN app is goofy. Yeah, that's them getting. No, they already got their field goal. Notre Dame was killing them and was laying an egg this half. That's for sure. Anyways, my hand's getting cold. Baby sun down, down somewhere where I can just look at it and see. There we go. Is that better? I put my hand away. Like I said, come on up, Spring Park Bay. I got a chair and a beer. Anyone who wants one. Hang out for a few minutes. Yeah, that was Baba. He uh, flipped a snowmobile and brought water to freeze. That was just that true. You know, I remember when I was a kid, and it got really, really cold here in Minnesota a couple of years. And I'm not kidding. It got to be 20 below zero for the high and 40 below zero at night. Every night, pretty much, from January 1st till February. It was cold, cold. The school bus rides were Everything was cold. You know, back then take a shower and go outside with wet hair and it would just go and insta freeze on you. That was a couple of years there. It was super super cold. But those were odd years. I guess we used to get more snow around here too. You can see though there's enough to, for snowmobiles. I bet I bet I bet the sledders would like another fill the trails up and all that. First and goal, Oklahoma. Oh, it is not warm. My nose is getting cold. Oh, here comes the fuzz. Who is that? I think that's a Minatrista cop. Yeah, they must just be driving through. And the Trista's over this other way. They don't have any business here in Mount, so they're just driving through. Probably coming back from downtown. Wonder how busy a night it was. I didn't go out. Sounds like a dangerous night to be out on New Year's Eve. a little windy if you can hear it that's what really gets you you know it's fine until the wind kicks in as soon as the wind kicks in that's, that's why i got my head sock on today keep that wind off my ears or my ears would be cold right Fourth and 15, looks like we're getting another field goal here. Almost 10 minutes left. This field goal attempt. So that's what these guys are all doing in this fish house. They're, they're watching their cell phones or their TVs or whatever they got going. wonder how many fish do they really catch? I have no idea. Field goal good. Notre Dame got to wake up or they going to lose. Looks like a light one. Ooh, it's blown a little. Not much though. Tell you though, I'm thermally protected. Who knows how long that'll last for? That's why I brought the beverage. Keep you warm. Comment. Let me look at the comments. See if there's anything worth responding to here. 
Oh, I gotta take my shades off. I'm gonna do that. A wave to the spectator behind me. Sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah, someone want to bring a little hibachi over. A little grill or something. Fire it up. I said, I got a couple of beverages here. We got room. Might take a few minutes to cook. But here we are. Spring Park Bay, Lake Minnetonka. Keeping the sea no company. Sign says four below. I don't believe it. It's colder than that. My truck said nine when I got here. Sign said five. Not much of a wind. You just give it a couple of days. And they're going to start driving out here with their trucks. Maybe we'll come back next week. And we'll look at how populated it is with all the fish houses. It turns into a city out here like, like you wouldn't believe. Big time it turns into a city. Like there's maybe four inches of snow on the ice, three inches. Not a lot. But it's made that parking lot slick up there, that's for sure. Not much action today. But it's cold. Sub zero. It's gonna be all night. I think they said down to 20 below, maybe 18 below, something like that. That's when it's cold now. Coldest I ever been. We gotta come in there. <laughs> to read it. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah, balmy negative eight. There you go. So it's warmed up. It's warmed up. The coldest I ever been was the winter of I think it was nineteen eighty three up in Fargo, North Dakota. When I woke up the radio went off and the radio station they had the weather report going and the guy said you know what he said he said you know what it's 60 below zero right now with the wind of I can't remember what the miles an hour wind but that gives you a wind chill of 102 below zero have a nice day he said and the windows were just all frosted it was that cold. Half of the cars in the parking lot would not start. But you know, cars weren't made like they are today. You know, Super Chevy up there, she fired right up for me today. She groaned a little and groused a little, but she fired right up. The cars were different back then. And there were a lot of cars that did not start. But my buddy, he had a Monte Carlo. I think it was about a ooh, 78 maybe, 77. Had a 350 in it. Wasn't happy about it, but that thing fired up in about five minutes. It was toasty warm. So we went buzzing around helping people. But cars these days are made much, much better with the computer control and everything. Even when it gets that cold, it's unusual that they don't start. That was a cold, cold day. We had to go out in it. It was 60 below. When are you ever going to get a chance to go out in weather that's that extreme? That's only in Fargo. Talk about someplace wind turbines belong. Oh, my goodness. That long, flat land right there, just like Nebraska, 
wind just rolls right across it. And it is the double tundra. You think this place gets cold and is a tundra? Go to a, do a winter in Fargo, Grand Forks. Then you'll find out what cold is and then you will not complain anymore. Yeah, it was cold here, 1983. Really cold here. Oh, Notre Dame's moving down. First and 10 on the Oklahoma State 24. They get a touchdown, they take the lead. It is getting colder, even with that on. I almost brought a hand warmer to crack to throw in the cooler to keep my beers warm. That's a battle out here. It's not keeping your beers cold not wasting money on ice got all the ice I need it's keeping them warm it's keeping yourself warm it's okay though I got four pair of socks on two regular one thermal and one lightweight thermal that's long that's helpful along with my boots Wonder how long the batteries are gonna last out here. Let me do a battery check. Do a battery check. Battery check. It says 97%, so we're plugged in and working. Our battery charger guy is doing great. Thank you, 472 Lift, for that battery bank that I'm now using. I think I might have to plug my other phone in too. Because last time, I remember one time when I tried, it was too cold and it wouldn't charge. So I might, I, maybe I should just do this. We don't want to lose this one, too. One thing you do want to do, especially with batteries, I know I got them in my pocket. Put them somewhere where they're going to stay warm. You can. Especially in Minnesota. Maybe I'll switch it with that one in a bit. Do a battery check on this guy because they both started at 100. Let's see where we are. 84. That one's still at 97 because it's plugged in. I don't think I'm going to be able to charge this one once it gets down so far. Don't think so. Drink more beer. Uh, I have Summit beer going on. Summit Extra Pale Ale. Not India, just Extra Pale Ale today. Well, we got a friend up there. Maybe you're going to come down and say hi. I got the chair. Come on down and say hi. Ugh. I do have to drink my beer before it freezes. I want my beer to freeze. Now, I explained that earlier to people not from here. We use can coolers in Minnesota, okay? Just like everybody, everywhere else, everybody else. But we use it to keep the beer warm, not to keep it cold. A whole different world up here. I had a girlfriend from Iowa who once told me that when they're driving around in the pickup truck, it was time to get a beer cold. You know, my Nova has this. You got little deals up by your feet you can pull, and there's a flapper that goes like this and this. 
They'd open it, stick a beer in it. It couldn't fall out because of the grate. They'd shut it, open it a couple minutes later, and the beer was plenty cold. That was a few years ago. Though. Nature. Working with nature. Oklahoma State got the ball back. Not sure what happened there. Well, oh, intercepted. Wow, they were driving down. Notre Dame got intercepted. Maybe I should have had gloves inside my gloves. You just do what you did when you were a kid, you ball your hand up. So when I was a kid and I'd go skiing, and it was cold like I told you it was cold, it was 20, 25 below. I was in Saturday ski club, I'd go to like Mount Frontenac or Afton Alps or Wild Mountain or some of the other places around here, once now and then to Trollhagen or Spirit Mountain. But it would be cold, cold. I didn't care if it was 25, 30 below. I was out skiing because I was there to ski. You know, it's almost like I can say that kids don't get it. They don't have it bad, as bad these days. Simply because they don't have the same amount of snow to shovel we had to. And they have modern appliances to do it with. I know they had snow blowers back then. But my mom wasn't buying no snow blowers. She had kids. And I remember the one year in Thanksgiving. It snowed like 24 inches and 18 inches. Two or three days apart. That's all vacation. Thanksgiving vacation was was shoveling. Shoveling, shoveling. Nowadays, the old man just goes out with the snow blower. I got an electric one that's nice and quiet. Blow it all away and you're done. Well, there goes something across the lake. Looks like a four wheeler way over there. Well, Oklahoma State's driving. Second and four and the Notre Dame 45. You know, I, I dumped dish net. Got tired of paying all that money. Signed up with these guys in this building right over here. Lakeside Networks for my high speed internet. Give them a call. If you can see that building, and there's a couple water towers around here too, you can get high speed inter internet cheaper. You don't know equipment rental and nothing like that. Definitely, definitely better than Mediacom. But so I dumped dish net because it was 120 some bucks a month. It was, just, it was ridiculous. So I don't have ESPN anymore. So when I watch football games, it's usually on the app or whatever. I'm like, what the heck? Well, we'll go somewhere fun and hang out, get out of the house, right? Watch a little football. Oh, man, my hand's warming up a little. Drink a little beer. And don't forget, we use can coolers. Why? Keep the beer from freezing. Because, you know, I got a question for you. Raise your hand if you know. What happens if you leave a popper beer can in the vehicle overnight when it gets this cold? Anybody know? Yeah, it could burst. Or it can do this. Becomes an oval. We had a 12-pack that was left in one of our vehicles. Four of them popped. About three or four did this. Anyway, I'm just leaving this in here to be warm to keep the uh, beer warm. That's what that's really for. Ooh, let me put that back on. It's cold. Do I need to remind you it's sub-zero? Sign said four degrees a minute ago. It's creeping up. My truck said nine below when I got here. Four below. Nine below. I believe my truck. It's cold. At least it's not that windy. It's cold out here. I figure, like I said, why not go hang out somewhere if I'm going to be watching the game on my phone? 
No more fun. I ain't got no fish house right now. Got my handy dandy bottle open. Not the perfect tool, but it's a good tool. I know they're getting cold. My ears would be because the wind's coming right across them right now, but I got the head sock going, which is completely saving my ears. Completely. That says four below. 3.36 p.m. 3.36? That means we got over, and sunset's over an hour away. Holy crap, I was off early. 3 o'clock, not 4 o'clock. We got plenty of time. Someone wants to show up, I got the chair. Got a couple more of these. Got some cheese and crackers in here, too, I might bust out when my hands warm up. Just to show you got this cooler for my buddies at lakeside and when I'm drinking summit extra pale ale right over here is the sheriff station he's tempting to fade a little but I'm not drinking enough to cause any issues maybe you can hear the wind now I should have brought some hot water to throw in the air so I could show off for you guys what happened. <sighs> it's starting to get cold out. It is cold out. Not a lot of activity on the lake, though. A couple of four-wheelers came by and then went over there. That's about it. Bunch of fish houses over on that side, though, in that little bay. There's a landing over there that they can get them on, though. I mean, like real fish houses. Not. This is a real one here that's not going anywhere to the spring, but it's not a big, heavy-duty wood one. Maybe I'll do that next time and go sit right in the middle of some fish houses. That might be fun. I gotta get myself a sled though so I can drag my stuff around easy. Just like they have. They put all their stuff on a sled and lock it out this time of year. Uh-oh, Oklahoma might score. Second and nine on the Notre Dame 10. This is Saturday football scores with the Turbine Guy. Spring Park Bay, Minnesota, where I'm starting to get cold, for sure. I dress for it and I'm still getting cold. Now, if I was out snowmobiling, right, I'd have my helmet on, which would keep me warmer, plus all that working and moving, and then you got hand warming, so your, your hands don't get cold. You can stay pretty warm, even when it gets colder than this. So, I mean, what else do you want to do when it's like 20, 30 below? Maybe, you know, just cold as heck. You want to get on your snowmobile and go 80 miles an hour up to your local establishment. Take off and go. Yep, there you go. What are we doing? Wonder if he's gonna dare come out. Guy in the 
things backing up. He started taking off and he started backing up. Yeah, my ears are even getting cold in this now. We use coolers here in Minnesota too, but the coolers are there to keep the beer warm too. Beer in. I'm wondering how long I was going to want to stay out here. I've been doing pretty good so far. It's definitely starting to get to me a little bit. You know, if I was up moving around and doing stuff, I'd be staying warmer. I got the gear on for it. You know what's funny about this weather, too? Because even when it's this cold and you're driving around in the morning and the kids are waiting for the bus, high school kids at the bus stop, they'll be holding their jacket in their arms because they weren't going to wear a jacket, but their mom made them take it. Funny as heck. Uh-oh, now Notre Dame got the ball. He took it back. We gotta get down and get in touch now. Well, they're done in three minutes left. Third time. What happened? Turn over. The wind's starting to pick up a little. That'll be enough to chase me out of here. Hell yeah. But hey, Sub-Zero Turbine guy coming back at you. Now the cool thing, with all this C-Note stuff going on, and I've got a few people from around here calling me about solar projects, including a church here in Excelsior in a mound. So the word's getting out. Let's see, I had someone comment. Let's see what they had to say. We got a few in there. Oh, the yacht I was next to. My wife's wondering, too. Um, the yacht... I think one of them was bigger. It was bigger than this. Yet there there, there was one that... The, the one that, this trail, that was on this trailer was comparable, but the other one next to it was bigger. Size-wise, I'm not sure, but it's the Ellen Elmas boat and I, I think it's our biggest boat. Look we got company coming. How's it going? How you doing bud? Good, you coming out? What do you got going on over here? I'm just live streaming having a beer. Sounds like a good time. You want a beer? I'm okay on the beer but what are you live streaming about? Well I did a bunch of live streams with that boat back there while they were pulling it out. What's up the boat? No that's a sit down. It's a whole story. Um, but I just figured today it was so cold, sub zero. I'd just come sit out here and have a beer in the lounge. Oh my god, it's so cold. I don't know how you can stand it. Well, I'm dressed for it, but it's getting to me. It's been about 40 minutes. Is that how long you've been out here? Yeah. Man, that's gotten too crazy though, huh? Yeah, yeah. But this thing, it had to break through the ice one day all the way over to here. Okay. And someone told me it was. And so I got over to film it. 
And then I was going to stop live streaming, and my kid texted me and said, man, you got 30-some subs, there's people watching. Watching live stream. Yeah, it's more you've ever done. <laughs> so I just stuck with it, by the end of the day, I had 500. Good for you. So then I got home, and I got so many calls, <laughs> excuse me, calls and texts. Everybody's saying, hey, you're going back tomorrow. So the next day I came back, and that's when they got the tra boat on the trailer in the water. <laughs> the third day they pulled the boat out. That was eight hours I was here. <laughs> It's a long, long time. So I've been coming back every day doing updates. Today is day 19, I think. So what's going on? Happy New Year, brother. Yes, Happy New Year. What's, sure. what's the deal with the boat? Just sitting there? Or? Waiting for permits and to get it organized to go from here up to Donnybrook. So it's only got a couple blocks to go, but it's got stoplights in the way, and now the roads are all snowy and all that. And from what I heard, he, he might be getting ticketed every day. Is this a thing that happens often? No. No? This is very rare. That's why I filmed it. Oh, uh, okay. I'm visiting from California, so I don't really know about like any of these kinds of things. Sure. Of well, that thing used to be a charter yeah. boat on Minnetonka. It was in a movie with Matt Dillon years ago. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of people who had wedding receptions and that kind of deal on mm -hmm. it. So, so it, it, it was a big hit. Kind so of a historic thing almost. Yes. Bit, yeah. Yes, and, and it was sold to a guy from Texas was going to move it from here to the Mississippi because the marina owner finally said, you know, I just can't deal with this anymore. Mm -hmm. It's too big mm -hmm. and, and, and too awkward for me. So it was going to cost him 50 grand to get it from here to the Mississippi. Jesus. And he was going to pay that. Wow. But the transport company fell apart, didn't get the route to the permits or anything. And now it's like June, July, and he's like, well, I can't be in Texas and get stuck with that boat and not know what to do with it. Yeah. So he, uh, he ended up uh, uh, selling it to the guy who bought it. And then... He was having a hard time finding anywhere to get it, so finally he was just going to make the trailer, but then the parts never showed up in Canada. Goodness. So he had to cob a trailer together. When he had that ready, the ice was already a couple, three, four inches thick, and he had to cut across through it. It's got aluminum hull, and that's when he got it here. Oh, God. So you're going to stay here until they actually like are able to transfer it out, or what? I'm checking it every day, okay. and then my goal is to follow it, because they have to do it at 2 in the morning. Okay. when they can shut the road down and all that and okay. if you actually go look at the boat it's not just tilting because of the road it's tilting on the trailer a little bit too okay that thing weighs ninety thousand pounds so you're gonna come out like late at night at like two in the morning and film it when they're moving it i've been doing everything else oh man that's awesome yeah. turbine guy turbine guy are you gonna put in a little compilation video i'm, like, I'm gonna once yeah, it's I'm, all done. I'm gonna make two i'm gonna make a shorter one and okay. i'm gonna make a long one with everything all right, man. Turbine guy, nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Good luck. Hopefully you don't uh, get too cold while you're out here. Yeah. Hey, what part of California are you from? Uh, Los Angeles. I'm from the San Francisco area, but I live in Los Angeles right now. Ah, I was yeah. up in Alameda when I was in the Navy. Oh, I love Alameda, man. It's yeah. a beautiful spot. And I lived in Livermore for a while. Oh, Livermore. Yeah, yeah. I was out in uh, Emeryville and Oakland before I went down to L.A. So. There you go. Yeah, local, local. There you go. Take it easy, man. Yeah, Happy thanks for stopping. Happy New, New Year. Year. Let's see if my beer got any cold. California just wanted to come out and see what's going on. Wait, this part's frozen right now, and so is that, but the beer is cold and getting colder. Well, look, we got someone else coming. We got another guest. Yeah. We got another guest. Yeah, I was just walking out. I saw you sitting here. I was going to ask you how much ice you're sitting on here. I'm not sure. But I saw some four-wheelers going by. Okay. And I've seen them going by over there, too. But I haven't seen any cars or trucks yet. You think it's good enough for uh, snowmobiles? Well, snowmobiles for sure. I've seen, seen sled tracks all around the lake. Okay. I'm not usually from here, I'm from the cities, but, uh... Here, sit down, have a seat, I'm live streaming. Oh, for what? I just thought I'd come out and have a beer in sub-zero weather and live stream. Yeah, cool. See that big boat back there? Yeah, I did. Did you hear the story on that? I did. I was the one who was live streaming the whole thing. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm out here keeping it company, because I, I think I had a lonely New Year's. Yeah, that's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice boat. Beautiful boat. Bet you the inside's even nicer. Oh, yeah. But... No, yeah, I'm from the cities, and my lady's uh, aunt and uncle were going out of town, so we're staying there watching the house, letting the dog out. And yeah. I want to do some ice fishing. Yeah. They're right on the lake, but sure. I didn't know 
Can a guy drive a snowmobile out there? Or is it? Oh yeah, no problem. Anywhere in the lake? For the most part, there's a couple of spots that, that you want to stay away from, like the Fletcher's Channel or maybe even the Narrows Channel. I'm not sure how that's frozen over yet. But just to go on like Lafayette Bay? Yeah, you should be fine on most of them. I, I can't. What I usually do, I, I've lived out here. I grew up out here, but I've lived over on West Arm since 96. I wait until I see the fishermen out there with four-wheelers pulling their fish houses out. Yeah. Once it, they got fish houses over there, once they got the real fish houses out, you yeah. know, it's pretty, it's safe enough for that. Yeah. What are, what's that bay over there where all those ice houses are? Do they come right out through here? No, there's another landing on the other side. That's, you, you have to go out three points. You go up to where the BP is up here, the gas station, yeah. take a left, and take that tuxedo all the way out. You gotta go all the way squiggling out, you'll get to the, where the landing is. They already got you. What, what bay is that? No, I'm not sure what that little bay is off the top of my head. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go mosey around. Like I said, I stayed here for like a week, week and a half. Alone. Sure, see it. Get out. And I'd like to do some fishing here, there, just check it out. There's got to be good fish. Nothing to do. Yeah, there's got to be good fishing out here, you know, because they're always out here. In a week, this took a while to freeze because they, they had to break it all open to get the boat in and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it had to refreeze, so no one's really gone over it yet. So maybe in a few days when they start, this will all be fish out. I figured. Yeah, it'll be a city out here. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice turbine yeah. guy. Tyler, you turbine guy? Yeah, look me up. Cool, give me a sub, please. Here you go. If nothing else sitting out here, I got a subscription or two. There you go, guys. That's interesting, though. He's out here watching a parent's house. I think I'm gonna have one more, look at this. <laughs> it's all frosted and frozen where the beer is. Yeah. That stuff was cold. For that one. Well, let me see here. Oh, Oklahoma score 37 to 28. Notre Dame's got the ball with two minutes left. Touchdown doesn't even help him, though. Don't forget, this can happen to you. I'm going to have one more. And I got me a little food deep. Here's one of these that ain't so dang frozen this time. There we go. Woo, that's a cold hand. Let's do this for a minute. Cold, cold, cold. I don't know anybody out there got any idea how long I've been at this? This is supposed to say. Fifty-three minutes I've been out here. Holy Christ! Now, mind you, what's the temperature? That sign said four below. My truck said nine below, and I got here. I believe my truck, and the sun's going down. We got another 40, 45 minutes, I guess, till sunset. But it's not warm out here. Here comes the sheriff. Sheriff's home. He's got his airboat. The sheriff is home. Notre Dame is driving. Posting 15 on their 36. Yeah, like I said, I don't got dish net no more. So I ain't got no way to watch ESPN other than go to the bar. But I figure I go out and enjoy some nice Minnesota weather. Instead. Spring Park Bay, Minnesota. For anyone who doesn't know. By the way, if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button, please. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It all helps out. Whew. Maybe he'll drive that airboat out here to say hi. No, he's backing her down. He's backing her down. Whew. You know, here's the crazy thing, okay? Some, some people, if you're not from around here, might think I'm the crazy one. There's guys who do this, especially at the beginning of the year when the ice is thin. They just drill a hole, and they sit on a bucket, and they ice fish. 
Doesn't matter how cold it is, that's what they go do. Can't imagine they catch a lot of fish. Just can't imagine they do. Uh-oh, Notre Dame driving. There's some 10 on the OK 30. 35 it looks like. Maybe next time I'll bring my kid out here. He can have his computer and he can do the comments and stuff with everybody. Now, when we were kids, they had a place over here called Ski Tonka. Ski Tonka, as in Lake Minnetonka, Ski Tonka. And you can still see when you drive by where the tow ropes were on the hill. And it's a short hill. It was a very short run, and there wasn't anything but tow ropes there. No T-bars, no nothing. So by the end of the day, by the end of the day, you're holding that rope, you're pinching it into your jacket, your stuff's all icy, and you're a young kid, you're tired, but you wanted to do one more run, you know? They had a bunny hill that wasn't even a hill. You couldn't even get down the dang thing. And I remember we, we go there on the weekends all the time. My mom would drop us off and say, here, go ski, and then go back home. It was just her way to get rid of us so she didn't have to. It, it, it was like the ski area was her babysitter for the day. Because she wouldn't come back till they closed, no matter what. And I mean, we, we lived within a few miles. It would have been very easy for her to come back. Not even two miles. Probably. Should have brought that warmer to keep my beer warm in there. Just for any of you who tuned in, just want to remind you, we do have can coolers. This one, look at that. Kind of where I was wishing I am right now, Bert's down in Mat Lache having a warm beer down there cold beer in a warm area but we have coolers can coolers here we use them to keep our beer warm we don't want to get cold Touchdown Notre Dame. You know, within two points. A minute left. Notre Dame's got to do the onside kick and get it. The log truck. Sounds kind of like my super Chevy. Super duper Chevy. Bubba, my door better be fixed. I told you about Bubba, the only guy I ever seen. Flip it or tip a sled at one mile an hour. I want everyone to know that. Now the sun comes out. I'm not going to do much for you now. That sign say. I want to see if the Thames dropping on that sign. Yeah, but it's cold. I mean, it is sub-zero, below zero, sub-zero turbine guy coming back at you. Out on Spring Park Bay, Lake Minnetonka, Minnesota. This is the landing where the sea note came in. It said four below. I don't believe it. 
I must be getting colder then. Yeah, we got another another gawker. Another tourist coming through to look at the boat. Yep, he parked right there. I got one more beer. Someone wants a beer. Ooh, I almost forgot. Look what I got. Got myself. Oh no. Plastic don't even like it being cold. First thing you learn when you're a kid outside that you really learn is you face away from the wind. You know, my buddy Bubba down in Florida, he used to ask me, why do you walk so fast? Why do you walk so fast? Why do you walk so fast? Holy, why do you walk so fast? And then he finally got up to here in Minnesota in the winter and he got out of the truck outside of Lowe's and he would right into the Lowe's. He looked at me and said, now I know why you walk so fast. Yeah, because it's cold. Okay? This ain't Florida where it's hot and you take your time because you don't want to sweat too much. No, this is cold. So you get from here to there. The last thing you do is hang out outside when it's cold like this. Unless you're going to be hanging outside. Unless that's your goal is to hang outside. is my goal. Boy. Well, it's too bad no one else came. Oh, that's not true. I had two guests. I had uh, the one guy from California he saw me out here and wanted to know what the heck was going on, so it was fun talking to him. Maybe a subscriber, and I had the other guy come around, and he wanted to know how thick the ice was, if he could ride a snowmobile out here, what's going on, because he's staying out here, and I'll watch the house for a couple weeks. That could be another subscriber, too. You can be a subscriber, too. Just hit that button, then hit the like, the thumbs up thing. Well, look, it's freezing right on top, the puzzle bubble froze <laughs> the bubble after froze funny oh okay state wins 37 35 oh, yeah, the wind's picking up that means it's gonna start getting cold, cold. We got people coming to fish. And I see there's questions in the live stream. I'll look at that in a minute, guys.
Wait, wait. Questions in the live screen. Let me come look. Glasses ain't gonna help me. <sighs> Right there. Let me show you. Right up at the landing there, right? Getting ready to come down. Let me see. Questions in live stream. Holy crap. My 27 foot constellation. Uh, it's a twin screw. Chris Craft constellation, 1960. The uh, engines are Hercules K block 95 horse flathead engines. I mean, kind of super cool. It needs a lot of work. It's got a hole in the side because it was rotted and I'm fixing that. So that, that, that's, that's one of the things, but it, it's a fun boat. You know, and I kind of put my own colors to it, a burgundy theme, and, and it, it looks super cool on the lake. And it's fun as heck to drive. No, no pizza today. Battery status. Let's see. 97% cuz I'm plugged into the battery from 472 lift. Thanks guys. So we got to thank them for the battery status. When is the boat moving? We do not know. That's the big thing. We're waiting to hear. You know, it could move any time. It may or may not. And we are waiting to hear what's going on with it. Here, i got to loosen this glove. My fingers are getting cold. I'm going to have to put these gloves on for a minute. Ooh. I've been out here. It says an hour and seven minutes. Not really moving around. About well, getting ready to start moving around, you know? Oh, boy. Look, you know, first of all, oh, boy. The cheese is freezing. Everything I got is frozen. Even my beer is freezing. Uh oh, here goes my hat. Even my beer is freezing. My glasses are frozen. below now. Now the temperature is dropping 408. So we got another 40 minutes or less than that 35 minutes till sunset. Let me drink this stuff before it freezes. Now like I told everybody, why do we got beer cooler? Keep the beer warm. That is cold. Now it's getting cold. This is cold. Everything's cold. It's cold out. Five below. My truck's at nine. I'm going to leave my truck. At least the wind's not blowing that bad. It was for a bit. Got my glove back on. That's nice. I can't even see these things. They're all frogged up from being on. No, it doesn't work that way. I gotta do this. When is that? Oh boy. Now we're talking about my kids. That's okay. You folks, my guy's getting ready to wrap down. It's getting cold. But I want to see how long I can make it out here, but who knows, you know?
There we go. No, oh, it's better. Yeah, we got the landing. We'll hang out and watch these guys pull their stuff by. Maybe they'll say hi. Then maybe that'll be time to quit. Ah, I see my hands are warming up. That's the thing about being out in this kind of weather. You know you're cold when it hurts a little when everything warms up. Yeah, 97% battery power. Thank you, 472 lift. The battery's working great. I wish that boat would be moving. I told Paul, he's got to move that thing because, you know, I got a life to lead too. I'm supposed to be going to Florida at some point. Because like this says, hurts. The ultimate dive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. There you go. That's about all I'm going to have to do. Hold it up. Quite odd, folks. Well, I'm telling you, I'm starting to get cold. Look, I got 24 people watching now. I bet the longer I stayed out here, and the longer I shivered, the more people would watch. I guarantee you that's how it is. Chili, chili. Someone said something. It's you and me. Cold day on Lake Minnetonka. Yeah. I see someone saying something. Dinner time, huh? Ooh, it's Tony Fish. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to make my first load back. I'll just leave you guys here screaming for a minute. You can watch. See if I fall over. I am cold. The turbine guy is cold.
be back in a minute, folks. That's cold. I'm cold. My whole face is cold. I've been out here for that's an hour and 17 minutes. That's at five degrees. I don't believe it. But in very, very cold weather. Been a good time hanging out with you guys. I think I got to go home and warm up. Turbine guy, signing off.